Hi everybody, Space Junkie 79 here. Hope you're all keeping well. So we've done our basic delivery missions and what to do when we first start playing Star Citizen. Now we're going to move on to a bunker tutorial. So uh, stick around, I'm going to talk you through obviously what I do to obviously get geared up. Um, I go in very, very basic um, and then obviously look to loot armor. Can use the tractor beams, can obviously loot weapons, can load them into a ship. Uh, yeah, and so just stick around guys. Hope you find this tutorial. Uh, very beneficial again please continue to like the videos and if you are finding these helpful please do subscribe to the channel um it'd be uh, really nice for us to have some more people subscribe uh yeah let's get right into it right so what we need to do is we need to go back into our moby glass because obviously this is where our contracts are as we know obviously we've done a few box missions now so you should be familiar with this layout so we're going to go to our contracts manager we're going to go to mercenary now, one thing you need to make sure you always click on is a call to arms. Every baddie, bad person you kill, you get an extra 500 credits for killing that person. All right, so always make sure you've got this selected. This gives you a bit of extra bonus. All right, so make sure that's selected. So if we go back down to here on the contracts manager, we're going to go to mercenary. Now, you want to avoid these clear out drug sites because unfortunately, it takes a long time, although it looks like fantastic money, half the time you'll probably wait 30 minutes, 35 minutes for the actual drugs to arrive within the actual um, premises. So avoid them. They're, they're just too buggy. It'll take you far too long, obviously, to get that mission. They just don't do any of the clear out drug, you know, drug sites and that sort of thing. Um, anything where it says clear out trespasses, you're going to have to stay away from the actual um, mining facility that obviously you're flying to because it's under their control. The mining lasers will engage you and will destroy your ship okay, very, very quickly, especially your starter ship. All right, we want, we want to stay away from these just for a little bit until obviously you get used to some commission. Okay, uh, what we have, well, we have a protect site trial contract. All right, obviously, I have started these, I have a bit of a reputation now, which is something that's down uh, in your Delphi. So as you can see, I am a level three contractor. You will start off, you will need to do obviously as an applicant and work your way up. It is a big grind guys, but obviously once you start obviously working your way up through the contracts, you can see that if I get to say Defender Mine, mine a threat contract now, I can actually earn 60,000 for every one that I do. So what we're gonna do is this is an entry level one. We're just gonna do a protect site for our contract. Accept the offer, okay. What will happen is, once you've done a call to arms, this will not automatically track this contract. You don't know where you're going. So make sure you click on it and you want to track this contract. So get the magnifying glass on there so you know where you're going. All right. So again, obviously you can read the details. It tells you where you need to go. All 12 on Lyria. Okay, so Lyria is where we're going to head. So we're going to go back to our skylines, our sky map. I know what you want to refer to it as. Select Lyria. Set route, let's drive once again. <coughs> oh, look. Let's line ourselves up once again, guys. Haven't seen the basic tutorial. Old B. So I'm still in my little starter ship. The first one we did our box missions on. The little MR has got a fair bit of storage, which is quite nice. So you can also loot and all that sort of stuff as well. So now, as you can see, this is where we need to head. Right? It is highlighted by the blue box again. Uh, and again, we know it's. So whenever I do bunker missions, even obviously the harder tier missions a bit later uh, later on in your uh, your journey through the contracts, I literally go along with a tractor beam and a pistol. That's pretty much all I go with. Uh, unfortunately, the AI are a bit docile. Um, every now and again, if the server frames aren't very 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 high, they do get do get what I call laser eye. That you you literally you'll turn a corner before you know it, you're down dead. Um, the only other thing to look out for is if the server is particularly laggy, obviously what will happen is the AI won't spawn in straight away. You'll be standing there thinking you're safe around a corner and an AI, yeah, enemy AI will spawn in right next to you and kill you. So again, just be very, very mindful. Things to look out for because uh, again, it, you know, it all counts against you, but you should be fine. Keep an eye on the server's performance and that sort of stuff. We should be okay. So we're just going to head ourselves in. I always like to 
send a ping out because it always tells us if there's any other ships here. Once again, we are obviously on the dark side. If you want to turn your lights on in a ship, it's L. As you can see, we've got our little red light flash out of this. So we know we're on our way. Slow ourselves down because we don't want to crash into anything. Deploy our landing gear. Now, as you can see, in this facility alone, there's four turrets. Uh, so if we were doing a clear site contract, these will engage. They will destroy our little starter ships very, very quick. All right, so just really keep that in mind. What you need to do is you need to land away from the facility. All right, and then obviously walk, or if you've got a big enough ship and you've actually you know, got yourself that far into the game, you've got a ground vehicle, then obviously you can drive to the once again. And the gear is down, anything, but sometimes if you see a box highlighted like that, uh, that is a box that was in someone's ship, so it could be full of loot, it could be absolutely empty. So, what we do is we're going to go and have a look, turn our lights off once again. We're going to do Y now. When you get to the contract site. If you look at the top of the screen just here, it tells you hostiles remaining 10 of 10. So you know how many you've got to kill. Uh, there are guards down there, so they will be fighting alongside you. Do not shoot the guards, because if you do shoot the guards, the, the actual mission will fail. Uh, and chances are, you'll get the guards all come after you, and they will actually try and kill you. All right, and you'll get a crime stat for it, and that's what you don't want. So let's have a little look in this box. If you do find one of these, again, hold F, open. We'll open up the inventory. There is, there you go. So there's three guns there. Obviously, we can take. If we had a big enough ship, I don't think that box actually fits in the MR, but we'll give it a go. Right, so the guards have killed one of the guard, uh, enemy AI, so you can see we're now down to nine. So let's get ourselves in there, get into the action. Right, so let's run into here. We need to go to sub level one. All I've got is my little pistol. Eight rounds in it. Now your starting pistol is is very, very powerful. Get the headshots in. Pretty much a one-shot kill for most of them. If one of the guy is wearing the, uh, the white cloaks and that sort of stuff, it might be a two-shot kill. So let's get ourselves in. Always take time. Around the corner. So, uh, depending on where you are, we are at Art Corp and the guards wear red. Okay? also they should have a blue marker on them so these are the enemy okay one down and there's our extra 500 AUEC we're taking on that extra contract right so make sure you always put that on and they the AI if they're responding well they respond to noise okay so if you can get yourselves silencer and that sort of thing then obviously will stop them from running at you so much. As you can see, they're literally tracking my position. Oh. These ones are working quite well, which is nice. So be a little bit careful. Take your time again. When you just started up here. As you can see, that AI has gone to where I took them shots. Always keep that in mind. He's obviously looking for us. He will come up. Very bad shooting by me. Now what I've done is I've run myself out of bullets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reload that, put it back in. You can punch. If you push zero, it is literally left and right. You can punch them. And as you can see, I've literally run through, run through the AI. I haven't got me. Let's get it. Grab this gun. This goes to show they are not all that. In all fairness, this eight, these uh, AI are actually responding quite well. This is this is good. That's what I like. So we've killed those. 
As you can see, we've still got three remaining. Again, we can pick up all of these weapons that have been dropped on the floor. Keep your eyes open. Always check around the back here because sometimes they spawn in these little corners. One around the corner. Down. Two left. Now they do come into this little back office here. Always check around the back. Very rare I see them at the back there, but again, it's always worth a check. Well, there's one in the middle of the walkway, we can see. And one left. Dead player there. It's always a nice little bonus, which means we can pick up all of his armour. Two in a second. On this last person. Might be in what I call storage. Sometimes, fortunately, the last AI, for whatever reason, doesn't spawn in. Really, really frustrating. We need to find them now. So, sounds like he should be here. Should be downstairs. He might have spawned in after we've cleared downstairs. So what we do is, we do another sweep upstairs. Make sure he's not going to come up behind us. Always check around the back here, because sometimes they hide behind these boxes. grab this gun got 60 rounds so he's not here there he is as you can see he was a bit laggy and all over the place so what we've got here unfortunately this is a player that is actually deceased so what we're going to do is we're going to nick all of that armor and all of that gear what we want to do is we want to push i we want to drop our multi-tool drop our pistol our custodian now we want to pick those especially the multi-tool back up come over here out of the way Floor. take our helmet off put it down to our boxes go back to i now if we go over here highlight this click loot if you double click on the undersuit as you can see it literally transfers instantly everything onto you you don't have to drag and drop and all that sort of stuff. A nice, nice little time saving there. So we've had a right result there. Uh, we've picked up some heavy armor here that this person might have been a new player, might have been an old player, actually died doing this mission. So that is a nice result. Okay. Like I said before, in the other tutorials and that sort of stuff, you don't need to go out spending all that money on armor and that sort of stuff. Because chances are you'll be able to find it. And as you can see just there, the bits that fell on the floor, I was able to pick them up, drag them onto our character. In case you don't again have to do all this animation, grab, and all that sort of stuff. All right? So that's that. And that's the right result. So we found ourselves a decent set of armor. We want to look out for these red boxes. Unfortunately, if it says loot and it's in red, that means someone has already found that box, taken the, the contents out of it. The FS9s, I'll do that. The FS9s, which this one is here, this is a great gun. Okay, so we want to take these. So put that on our back, hold R, okay? Now you can see here where this player, uh, this AI has dropped it, dropped down. Those there are the drum magazines for the FS9. We want them. So you literally drag and drop. You've got one to seven. This is where you can actually load the ammo onto. Okay, so you've got seven rules you can put on there. If you click on the actual armor and click open, this enemy is carrying anything else, it will show up at the bottom here. All right, so he's, he's actually not taking got anything else. And you can do that with obviously the chest armor, the leg armor, all that sort of stuff. There's another box here. This one has not been looted. As I said to you before, you don't need to go out and spend an absolute fortune Trying to get your hands on all 
all the top armor and that sort of stuff. We, you can pick it up. You really don't need it. This is the salvo pistol, which is what we use, which is this gun here at the very beginning. Take that ammo. This one's okay. It's a, it's a bit weak for me. Now this sight, we can actually add this straight onto our gun. So it's literally a drag and drop. You can see the circle spinning. Let's now put that sight onto this FS9. I'll show you in a second. Always nice to grab pistols. Again, we've just started out, so we won all this gear. Uh, I don't have a backpack on, so I cannot pick up that actual armor that's in there as well. Again, we're just going to run around. Make sure we don't miss any boxes. We can loot these guys as well, so we can loot him. He's got custodian magazines. Now, I am a lover of a custodian, which was the gun that we pretty much used for all of that. Again, we're going to right click on his armor. Click open. Nope, he hasn't got anything either. So what we can do, obviously, because that player was there, we've nicked his armor. We can do exactly the same with the bodyguards. I would suggest you don't put uh, Nine Tails armor on, because chances are people will kill you. So literally stick to security guard armor or anything like that. Grab this. Put this one on our back as well. Now, if you are wearing light armor you can only carry one gun on your back okay so only one gun if you're wearing heavy armor you can wear two guns on your back i think you can possibly have two guns on your back or medium armor as well um so again i think check in here now you get boxes that spawn there always look there always look around the back you get boxes that spawn here, look. So again, that one looks like it's been opened. Yeah, so that's been looted, so that's no good to us. You also get boxes that spawn here, but they spawn all over the place, so do make sure you have a good look around. So that's everything checked upstairs. You get boxes that spawn here, there's nothing there. So there's another FS9 here. Once again, we want to loot this guy, because we want his magazines. If you run out base, obviously actually for putting those on, you can drag and drop into your actual chest compartment. So as you can see, I've opened his armor and he has these parts on there as well, right? So this here is a medical pen. Always very good to have. So drag and drop that onto us. I want the FS9. Yeah, okay. What we can do, grab that. So we've got the FS9 on our back. We've got a custodian on our back. And we picked up this extra gun. So if we pick up any more, we will drop one of the door. If you hold R, beg your pardon it will drop that gun off of our backs. All right, so try and avoid that. Let's have another look around, making sure I've not missed any red boxes. Now, you can see where it says, leave area, you will be trespassing in eight minutes, 50 seconds. If we are still here, we've got our ship outside, and we haven't left when that gets to zero, pirates, believe it or not, even though we've just def defeated all these guys and helped these people out, they will destroy your ship. But always be mindful of that. Make sure you get out in time. Get these boxes here. You can loot. A tractor beams, as you can see. Tiger claws, which you can use to hack computers. But again, that's something we'll cover off later in the game. In, in, the, in the game, you can obviously again find the actual lifeguard refills, um, tractor beam attachments, uh, salvage attachment, mining attachment, and also again knives as well. These boxes are, are really quite good. You get boxes that spawn at the back here. There isn't one there. Sometimes you get one that spawns up here as well. Now, what we've got is, I'm just going to drop this gun. So what we do is we're going to hold F. We're going to select drop. That will put that there. Depending on if you want to start storing up armor and that sort of stuff, Obviously, we got ourselves a tractor beam, didn't we? Four. Literally. Push four, we'll bring this out. Okay. You can also hold F. And if you push number one, hold number one, it will bring this wheel up. So you can actually select tractor beam, the FS9, the custodian, the pistol, unarmed combat. It's all there for you. So hold F, keep holding F down. Select what you want. Okay, so that's hold F and hold number one. File out what you want by using your mouse, let go, go back to the tractor beam. But what we can do is, 
we can drag this dude to the elevator. Literally need to click on him once. Drag him over here. Drop him on the elevator. He should hopefully stay there and not disappear. Now that's for some reason bugged us there. So let's put that away. An invisible line that's stopping us. Here we go. Right. And now we're going to return to the surface level. We are going to pick our gun back up. But this has been a really good run. Just thinking, you know, you're a brand new player. We've got ourselves some plastic armor. Two really good guns in FS9s and the Custodian. Probably my favorite gun out of all of them. So, time's ticking away. Six minutes. We're going to run to our ship. Quickly as our little legs that take us. Open up. Get inside our ship. Once again, we push I. Use your right mouse button so you can actually see your character. You drag and drop into your vehicle. These weapons now be in the ship inventory. All right? There. They're now safe. All the stuff that's in our chest compartment, we can move all. So they're now there as well. Now we're going to leg it back to the elevator. Hold F, hold 1, bring this up. As you can see, those other guns have disappeared now. Pick him up. Take him outside, sorry about that. So again, we're going to literally bring him all the way over here. We might be able to get him in. He's in. All right, so there we go. So he's in there. I'm going to quickly run over to here to this box. There were some extra guns in here, wasn't there? Hold F, open. Now we haven't got any guns on our back. There's two P4 AR rifles. These are, for me, are better than a Karna rifle. All right, so just leave that behind. We ha we can use that box for storage, but I don't. It won't fit in my Aurora. So what we're going to do is. Run back here, hopefully these his body will not be in our way. Can he get in? Open that. Now because the time's ticking down, we've got four minutes. Back into our seat. Move ourselves away from these guns. Try to fire up the ship. Get ourselves away. Again. Get ourselves away from those turrets, it's not going to hurt us in that. Find ourselves a nice little spot. Now again, depending on what ship you've got, you can mount bodies up in your ship and all that sort of thing. And come back with loads of them. Literally loads and loads and loads of armour. Stay down. Now we could have done this in atmosphere to be fair, but let's just get ourselves. So, I again, engines. turn the engines off, let's get back out of our seat. Hopefully he's still behind us. Every now and again, what can happen is the bodies will fall, fall, fall through the actual ship's floor and they won't be here. So again, the easiest way to do this, what we can do is hopefully this inventory will load. We've got enough room. We can drag all this stuff across into here. Hopefully there is enough room. Our undersuit in there. Once again, guys, old eye, look at this guy, loot, double click on his body, on the uh, on the actual undersuit. Now we are wearing all of his gear, we're just left with a body. All right, let's open our door. What we don't want, their body in here. Hopefully, I'll tell you what we do. Oh, hang on. Game's having a bit of a wobbly. Out of our ship. All of as it is. Oh no. Come on, out you come. There we go. Very ungraceful. Sorry about that. But we wanted your armor. So we've done one bunker mission, we've got ourselves all those weapons, we've got ourselves two lots of great heavy armour, because I think you'll find this is all heavy armour as well. That's a shotgun on our back, again, 
not fantastic, but they obviously they will take enemy AI down and that sort of thing. Yeah. So once again, guys, as I've said many, many times, you do not need to spend all that money at the start of the game. To get yourselves kitted up. But what we've just got doing one bunker mission. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so let's do one more. See what contracts we got. So push I F1. Back to our contract manager. Down to mercenary. Now we got clear outside. Boarding in action is where you will actually fly out to the ship in space. Okay. Uh, and obviously you need to obviously deploy all, uh, kill all the enemies on there and that sort of thing. So obviously again we'll do that one from another day. There is a protect site. Again, so again, personally, I'll just stick doing the protect sites just until you get used to it, and then progress on to clear out sites, clear out dress passes. So we've got our next marker. We're going to push B. A single planet. Oh dear. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> no idea what's happening there. It's been attacked by armor and all sorts. When the game works well, guys, it's um. It's fantastic, but as you can see, we're attacked by loads of armor and all sorts. I've no idea. No idea at all. Right, so anyway, we sent out a ping, so we know there's a Drake Cutlass Black down there. Probably nothing to worry about. Chances are it is a player that's already tried to do this mission, and again, like we had in the last one, fortunately didn't survive and has died. So once again, we'll take our time. You can get enemy AIs that will be above these points that you need to get to, and they will engage you in your little ship. They will obviously again, free. and just be a little aware. And obviously, those those ships will start as red markers. Because we've already pinged that marker for that ship will stay highlighted. Hopefully, won't bug our ship and kill us when I try and get out of the seat. Engines are Never ever seen that before. What if we've got boxes literally everywhere? Very bizarre. Oh, now we've got a gun. Am I wearing anything? Oh, look, so what's happened? Sort of bugged back to my suit. Stuff that obviously we did put in now disappeared. So, again, it, it's just a game, guys. It's nothing that we've done. All right, but again, don't worry about it. We are going to grab uh, an FS9, show you how good these ones are, put that on our back. These boxes are now just going to flit around and hopefully not blow up our ship. See, look, things have fallen out everywhere. Oh. Okay, as we know, that way. Game is still an alpha. It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. Even though, again, that you can see, I did put that gun on our back. It's it's now not showing. So we're going to come down here, we've got no gun, do have our tractor lean. But what you can do, oh, this is quite handy, look, there's a gun that's obviously been left here by someone that's died or anything like that. So we're going to grab that, hopefully it's got some ammo. The server is performing really badly guys. This goes to show how bad this is, oh you can see look how many players have died here. Down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down here, I think. Yep. Yeah. I only got a couple of time. There's one. Yeah, these AI are bonding really well. Need to be very, very careful here. This is the trouble with sniper rivals. Too big, they catch on everything. Stupid zoom lens. These are just ridiculous. Again, take your time. I need to rush. I don't know where that AI has gone. Be very careful. Once again, he could just appear. No 
another one. So we took a hit there. We didn't have heavy armor on. We'd be in big trouble. Again, I'm going to come around here. Got that on our back. I'll find ourselves a bit more of a gun. Hopefully, we won't get shot. Be careful once again because they do respond to noise, as you can see. We'll shoot through there. Four left. Make sure there's none around here. Should come around the corner. One more here. One left. Should be upstairs. Again, we've got no ammo, so we want to grab a gun. This one. Always check around the back here. See why people are a lot of dead people here. Probably due to the server performance of this time. Very lucky that we uh yeah, we survived that to be honest. Okay. And we swept downstairs. No one here. And then all of a sudden, he's there. But this uh, right. this server is probably on its way out. It is probably on its way. So, what we can do is we can loot this this guy here. He's actually got a backpack. So, want nice little finds. Take his body armor. We've now got his backpack. Right, so you can see that there. We've got leg armor on. We've still got our actual arm armor on. I think this may have been a player because there's backpack and that sort of stuff on there. So, we can make that. Which again is a nice find. So, this is a medical box. Here we go. So hopefully now we will. Everything come dragging and dropping. Not staying on us, guys. So this server is on our way on its way. So this is a paramedic refill. That's not staying either. Right. So what we're going to do is we're not going to waste any time here because anything we're picking up, hopefully this armor and and this great backpack that we just picked up will stay on us. I don't know if it will or not. We'll give it a try. So there's no point looting any more here. So the server is the box is probably about to lie over here. Very special box down here. Probably our FS9 that's fallen through the floor. Very, very odd. Get ourselves in the ship. <coughs> Grab this FS9. No, well, it's really bad. So, right, save something. See that medical gun sticking out the bottom there. It's on. Horribly wrong. Right. Let's get ourselves out of this. 100% uh, see why so many people have actually died. We have died there. Having a few moments, that's for sure. Once again, never aim directly at this space station because when you're rushing, like doing like things like this, I mean, at 100 miles an hour, before you know it, I'm straight at it and you can't move. Rushing. Now, I'm still seeing reports of people blowing up. As they're entering hangars, so again, going slowly. Lots of debris still hanging around in these. Get ourselves down. Bye. Oh, why? Get ourselves out of the seat once again. Now, I don't know what we're going to have actually in the ship. So, what we're going to do is we're going to push I again. 
I'm still dropping off a bit. Can't find a spot where we can actually go. So now look. So actually in our vehicle. Yeah, all all the armor and that sort of stuff has dropped out. Shame. And we have obviously managed to keep a few little bits. So let's drag and drop all this stuff into the Gene Point. Really hoping that obviously we don't lose this fat pack. Real shame. Still got a few weapons, which is good. But we have lost the FS. Oh no, look, the FS9 just pinged in there. Which is Ability. Actually. Yeah, I always check go for all these pieces. I don't think we've got personal. We've got the refills. Yeah. Anything we put into local, obviously that's that's safe. Okay. What we're going to do is come out of this. Wondering, <laughs> possibly, the more we pick up, no the more idea. drops out. Let's get out of here. Keep everything crossed. Keep our guy with this stuff on. Right. Yeah. And store our ship. You never know. We might load the ship back in. I think everything could be back in storage, but I doubt it very system. much. Right, let's store that so we know that's safe. Visit right, guys, I know that's been a bit of a mess towards the end there. Probably put me right off my stride, obviously, with what I was saying and that sort of stuff. So I hope it all makes sense. I hope the video is going to be of great help to you guys. Uh, if it is a complete mess, then obviously I will redo it. But otherwise, I'll chop it down into uh, timestamps as always. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Please continue to like uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Um, done very, very well so far. It'd be lovely to get some more of you on board regarding the subscriptions. Uh, it literally takes 30 seconds of your time. And don't forget, in the bottom right hand corner, throughout the whole entire actual video that's playing, there is a little box. Click that. It will come up on subscribe so you don't even have to look for it so if you could do that for me guys it'd be absolutely phenomenal uh, and i hope to see you all very very soon thank you very much bye for now